G'day, it's Ken from Breathe Better Salt Rooms. Today I'm going to talk about hay fever and salt therapy. Now hay fever is the common term that everybody knows about that refers to um, allergic rhinitis. It's a condition where people have a, a, an adverse reaction to an environment which contains pollen and dust. Uh, typical responses or typical allergic responses are irritated eyes, inflamed airways, uh, inflamed sinuses, uh, increased uh, mucus production, runny nose and further blockages of the sinuses. Um, it, in more extreme cases, um, this can actually trigger an asth asthmatic attack in people who are mildly asthmatic. Uh, where the irritation occurs in the in the upper bronchial and causes an, an asthma attack and an immediate constriction in the airways, which in in some cases can be quite dangerous. It's a common, it's a chronic condition that's suffered typically seasonally, but as I said, there are extreme cases where there's an asthma attack involved, and also those who have it year round. Now, quite often people turn to antihistamine products. Um, uh, to like tablets and sprays to alleviate the symptoms, uh, and what they and what more often not people who come to the salt rooms eventually they've been trying uh, this medication over a period of time and found that over time it's become less effective, uh, and that's because of uh, probably two things: one, their bodies have become resistant to the the antihistamine uh, sprays and and tablets that they've been taking for it. And the other one, which is quite, uh, quite, a, a, quite a common one, is that uh, there, there's been a build-up of, of histamine uh, chemicals from the actual pollen itself. Now, as you know, when, when you breathe in pollen and you asthma and you uh, and you suffer hay fever, you have an allergic response where you cough or sneeze at that, that pollen out. That's great. The pollen's out. And, and you think that's over and done with, but no, it's already exploded, and that's when you detect its presence, but it's already exploded in the back of the sinuses um, through contact with moisture in, in your airways, and it's deposited its um, own, its own um, chemical makeup, which is causing a histamine response, that allergic response, and that is absorbed by the membrane wall of the sinuses and the upper bronchial, and it's absorbed over time, so people find that the every time they take a tablet, it's not as effective as it used to be. And that's the common complaint. So here, I'm here to tell you that salt therapy is a fantastic and effective way of managing those symptoms. Now I say managing the symptoms because it's not a cure, but sometimes it feels like it uh, because of the effectiveness of salt therapy. But again, as I've um, as I've made the statements in the past, salt therapy is only successful through regular and consistent use. So the way salt therapy works for hay fever is that when you breathe in the minute particles of salt through the, through the sinuses, uh, the salt will actually break up all that congestion that's built up. You'll end up having a runny nose, no different from what you normally would have in a hay fever response anyway. Once all that congestion clears out of the way, the salt will land on the membrane walls and start drawing out all that inflammation. So your airways, which is quite tight and constricted, will slowly but surely open up and allow you to breathe a lot easier and a lot better. And that opens up the airway. So that improves your immune system because you've got to increase in oxygen in, uh, intake and oxygen conversion because your salts actually open up your airways. Now the other thing it does that, uh, is not mentioned uh, on a regular basis that during that process of drawing out that inflammation, the salt's actually drawing out all the all the um, all the deposits that the pollen has left behind over the years, over every breath you've taken every day over the years, especially over spring, and drawing all that out, and you're simply blowing that out and coughing it out, and so that gives now all that all that deposits the. The immune system's always constantly battling it and resisting it. So therefore, when the salt opens it up, it'll draw it out and alleviate the allergic response. Now, uh, that typically uh, to get a successful uh, uh, salt therapy for hay fever, uh, I find that people who've had it for many, many years will need somewhere between two and a half to three months, give or take a couple of weeks on either side. Uh, more often not closer to three months um, of regular salt therapy. And I, I would recommend three times a week uh, sessions. If you can come in more often, even better. So anyway, 
I hope that clears uh, salt therapy and hay fever's relationship. And I firmly believe that if you do, you've got hay fever, give salt therapy a go. You won't look back. You'll feel fantastic after three months. But be, but be patient. Consistency and regularity. Cheers. I'll see you next time.